Thousands of people with arrest warrants in Rutherford County may now avoid spending time in jail. It's more fallout from a lawsuit involving the county's for-profit probation system. Investigative reporter Ben Hall shows how a federal judge is forcing the sheriff's department to change arrest warrants. Well, Vicki, this uh, warrant, this court order already forced the county to release 13 inmates right before Christmas. Now the county is changing thousands of arrest warrants. These are all warrants that have not yet been served. Every one of these files holds an arrest warrant for someone in Rutherford County. On some days we might get up to 250 warrants a day. Sheriff Robert Arnold says there are more than 28,000 arrest warrants waiting to be served. Some date back years, but his office doesn't have the manpower to serve them. We only have four people serving them and they keep coming in and we get more and more every day. Many of the warrants involve misdemeanor probation violations. But last month's federal court order changes how the county must handle these warrants and means thousands of people can now avoid jail time. It's a big deal on how we operate every day because of how we operate with these warrants. You know, who we go after, how we go after them. Just before Christmas, a federal judge ordered the county to release 13 inmates from its jail. I feel actually uh, like a boulder has been lifted off my shoulders. The judge blasted the county's probation system. Both the county and its private probation company, PCC, are fighting a lawsuit that claims they repeatedly jail people because they are poor. He's ready for fingerprints. But the judge's order also impacts nearly 10,000 of the county's arrest warrants. Now, people charged with misdemeanor probation violations will be booked and released on their own recognizance. They will not have to come up with bond money to stay out of jail. This arrest warrant for a misdemeanor probation violation shows a $20,000 bond. Because of the court order, that bond amount is now waived. You know, we would just scratch that out. Now, when a person is charged with a minor probation violation, they are booked and released. No bond, no jail time. But everybody here is human. But if we make a mistake, how is that going to affect us with this federal judge's order? Sheriff Arnold says it's highly unusual for officers to simply edit arrest warrants and decide when to waive a bond. But for now, the court order has cut overcrowding in the jail. It dramatically decreased the people we had sleeping on the floor. The sheriff has asked the county attorney to recall the nearly 10,000 arrest warrants so judges can remove the bond amounts. No word yet, Vicki, on whether that is going to happen. All right. Thanks, Ben.